Huey the Apple Tree, Reading and Colouring by Dolores Keevney for Cork City Libraries. Hello everybody, Dolores Keevney here and uh, I'm going to read you my latest book called Huey the Apple Tree and it's a true story about my grandson Hugh who was eating an apple one day, seed fell out and he planted it in a pot and it grew to be a beautiful apple tree and this is Huey here behind me. This is Huey the apple tree. And when I'm finished I'm going to do a little workshop. Uh, uh, we will draw an apple tree, uh, draw a blossom and make some apples out of paper. So let's get started. And uh, Huey the apple tree. It's a very small little book. Huey sowed an apple seed to see if it would grow. He sowed it in an egg hook so nobody else would know. A gust of wind came blowing down and blew the cup away. But the little seed hopped to the ground and on its side it lay. When Huey went to check it, he was met with a big surprise. The little seed with two small leaves lay right before his eyes. It isn't gone at all, he said, as he shouted with delight. So he picked it up and held it close, not holding it too tight in case he might crush it. He sowed it in another pot, a bigger one by far. This time the wind won't get it. He loudly cried, ha ha. The little seed just grew and grew and soon it was quite tall. In fact, it was quite beautiful. The fairest of them all. Butterflies and bees came by to pollinate its flowers. They danced and moved right through the tree for many happy hours. Sure enough, at summer end, big fat apples grew. Huey came and picked one, and on it he did, did, did chew. What name will I put on you? Huey thought so carefully. The nicest name that he could guess was Huey the Apple Tree. And this is a true story of a little boy called Hugh who sowed an apple seed and it grew to be a beautiful apple tree. Hugh called it Huey, the nicest name of all. So that's the story of Huey the apple tree. So let's get on with our project and we will make some apples, draw some apple tree and some flowers. So come on with me now and we'll go ahead and do it. Now um, I'm going to use a couple of colours, brown, green and pink. Uh, I'm going to use the cotton buds like this wrapped together with a, a, an elastic band um, and I'm going to use different colours and an ordinary paintbrush. You can use acrylic or you can use watercolours, whatever paints you like. So this is what I do when I'm drawing. I just, for um, the apple tree, I will just draw a line up like that. Some branches brown you can use brown some branches up like this then I get a smaller brush and I will just do little branches like that do more thin little brushes like this it's simple enough Uh, 
and in springtime lovely blossoms appear on the apple tree so now we are going to put on I'm going to put on some beautiful pink blossoms that I I, I mixed up red and white to get the pink blossoms and I use this as I painted some put some paint on the cotton buds and you just go along like that look is that not simple isn't that amazing get some more paint and um, keep dabbing away until you get an apple tree with blossoms now if you wanted to make a, make it a little darker and a little darker flower you can just add a little bit more kind of red to it it's like it would like that dab away with your cotton buds they make great tools for painting with okay then I think we might add a tiny little bit of green because there's usually green leaves on the on the apple tree so what I will use is a bit of yellow a bit of yellow and green mixed together to make a nice bright green and you know how to mix yellow and green and then come along same again with your cotton buds Put a few here and here and here is that not a great way of making a painting of an apple tree in blossom I think it is I think I'll put a few more branches at the side like this look little thin branches of the brown with a different thin little brush and now I'm going to show you how to make an apple blossom you just need pink and white or red and white mixed together to make a nice pink and this is a real simple way I, I do it so you just have to do a petal, one, two, three, four, five, five petals. And if you want to darken it up a little bit, you can just put in a little dot there, look. And then I usually put a tiny little bit of green into the center just like that and maybe the tiniest little bit of red little dots and there's your little petal uh, this is the little apple blossom that the bee flies in flies in here to collect pollen to bring back to the babies in the beehive and um, it flies in there it's after being on another blossom the same type and it has some pollen stuck to its legs so it just flies in there and the pollen from its legs drops into the center of this little flower and lo and behold it mingles with the seed of the flower and suddenly an apple starts to grow and that's how you get the apple so if the bee didn't fly in there you'd have no apples and now I'm going to show you how I draw an apple I just use red and just this is how I do it look Do a round circle. You can add 
a bit of water to it if you have watercolors but not too much just a bit like this just like this nice and straight and you can you could add a little dash of green into it because sometimes red apples have a little streak of green in it that's really the way I draw it I don't draw it any other way just like that then I get a very small little pen and I draw a branch like that and I then paint a little green leaf or two at the top because there's always a little leaf at the side of an apple tree on, uh, on an apple just like that look so that's how you draw an apple tree there's your apple there's your apple blossom and there's your apple tree And now I'm going to show you how to make paper apples just like that one there you see that this little paper apple very easy now to make the paper apple like this one you will need four pieces of paper one two three four some glue Brit stick is be probably better than what I'm using uh, but we'll go ahead and use the, Brit the this glue because I don't have any Brit stick so we fold those four those four pieces together just like that and then you open them up and then they have a little crease in them in the middle there so you put down the first one you put some glue on then you get this one and you put this in the middle just like that press it down more glue another red piece and we put it sideways like that with a little mark in the middle you see the little line and more glue and this one goes here now you press them down and wipe off any glue any excess glue with a bit of tissue and there you have your first part done Now, the next part is you bring up one side like this, you put some glue on the top, just there at the edge, you bring up the other side and you stick it like that. Another little bit of glue, bring up another one. Like that keep your fingers tight on it more glue and 
and make sure you hold it for a little while so that it sticks. Then we have two more to bring up. We will do a bit of glue. This one first. Press it down. Another drop of glue. This one. And we have just two more to do now. and I suppose this is the trickier trickiest part to try and keep them together and we just hold it down give it a nice little squeeze not too tight just like this And there you have it. Now it takes a little while to dry, so you might have to just maybe put some something light on top of it just to keep it from coming up. So then you need two little leaves, green leaves. You just cut them out of your green paper. You press a little bend up on each of them like that. And you dab a little bit of glue on. One, two. And you put one on top of the other and you just stick that to the top just like that and there you have your paper apple and i think that's fantastic so there's three paper apples just like that So there you have your little project, your painted tree, apple tree, your blossom, your apples, and your paper apples. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little workshop. I certainly did. And uh, maybe you'll come back to see another one sometime. Have a great summer and do plenty of reading. Bye-bye um, now. Thank you for listening.